I got shot on a Tuesday. I remember it was Tuesday because that's the day that Carol and I eat Chinese food for dinner. It was near the end of my route, with just three stops left. All I had on my mind was finishing the route, clocking out, getting to the Golden Dragon before they ran out of fresh egg drop soup. A couple of kids were waiting by a cluster box. This skater kid, Ryan, that I knew from the neighborhood, he had his little girlfriend with him. They wear these funny clothes, you know what I'm saying? They, they got like a couple of tattoos, but basically solid kids. Not the type to make trouble or anything. So Ryan is standing by the box and his girlfriend comes around to the tray side. Give me that cell phone, man. The girl chimes in. Give us the wallet, too. I'm like, wow, I almost laughed at him. No guns, no knives. Just these two scrawny kids leaning in my LLV, shouting orders like they were on a TV show or something. Get the heck out of here before I have a talk with your mom, Ryan, I said to him. He looked like he was so scared he was about to cry. But then, she shot me. That crazy little skater girl shot me. Ryan! What do we do now? God, just, just get the stuff and let's get out of here, Star. Then she reaches in and snatches my cell phone. They grabbed some mail from the tray and, and just ran away. It took the inspectors about three hours to track down Bonnie and Clyde. What were they thinking? All that for a cell phone and a stack of other people's bills? Like I said, just kids. No trouble at all. Or at least that's what I thought on Tuesday. When times are hard and people are under stress, they may do things that they would normally not dream of. If you're threatened in any way, treat it seriously. Even if you don't see a weapon, even if you don't feel like you're in danger, give them whatever they want. Nothing is worth your life. And avoid making yourself a target for robbers. Leave your cell phone in your pocket, out of sight. And don't bring mobile devices to work. Avoid large wallets, showy jewelry, or any display of cash during your shift. Now be aware of your surroundings, and if you feel threatened, leave the area and contact a supervisor. If you're involved in a robbery, try to remain calm. Comply with any instructions. Nothing is more valuable than your life. Give them your money, your phone, or even the mail. Just let the robber control the situation, and you'll have a much better chance of survival. Once your attacker is gone, Go to a place of safety and call 911. Then call your supervisor. The most important delivery of the day is always at the end of your route. Deliver yourself home to those who love you by playing it safe.